of us just needs to say a complete sentence. <laughs> Deal. Let's see who can do it first. That's the game. <laughs> Courtney is a chef. She's also one of my best friends, and she's written so many cookbooks, worked in incredible famous kitchens. We're so lucky to have her on the show making Elizabeth's food. Let's begin, shall we? You and I have been friends for what, thousand years? Oh, uh, maybe more. That is to say, we've been friends for a very long time. And food has been a very big part of it. We get together with people and make something that then fuels and sustains mm -hmm. you. So today, we're gonna make the lasagna, the lasagna. The lasagna. From Lessons in Chemistry. Yes, and lasagna is comforting and loving and requires a lot of time and energy. And uh, ultimately, this is the beginning of the Elizabeth and Calvin relationship. Yeah. This is one of the first things he tastes that mm. Elizabeth makes. I think he falls in love at first bite. Wow, that's perfect. It's not perfect, but it has the potential to be. How do you think Lewis is gonna do making it? You think he's gonna be okay? I think he's gonna be good at the assembly. Yeah. I think he can assemble. He can follow directions. He's gonna love eating it. He's definitely gonna love eating it. <laughs> yeah. As will I and you. I, um, definitely me. We should probably go make it soon. Let's make, let's make it. Before we get started, pray tell, who is your character in the show? Oh, I play Elizabeth Zott, uh, who is a scientist and then later has a cooking show. Welcome, viewers. My name is Elizabeth Zott, and this is Supper at Six. I play Calvin Evans. Calvin Evans is a star. Smart, well-to-do, famous, what's not to like? Is a chemist and doesn't really have a future in cooking. <laughs> Until today. Until today. Until today. Right, so we're gonna, we're, we're making lasagna. It's based on the lasagna from the show, but this is an even more amped up lasagna. Um, it has homemade pasta dough, the thinnest layers possible. It's gonna be like 12 layers. And lucky for y'all, I went ahead and already made the dough. And then I also made the bechamel for it. So we're gonna focus today on the bolognese sauce. Okay. okay. Starting now. Marie, I would like you to do the honors. Go ahead and oil. You're gonna put oil in the pan and then add the mirepoix. Everything but the garlic. So we're just gonna saute this down. Let's go ahead and add the meat. How's that sound? Yeah, what kind of meat is okay, this you got here? So this is another reason why this bolognese is so delicious. This is ground pork, ground pancetta, and okay. then we have ground beef. Yeah. So go ahead and toss that into the old pan. Okay, Come just on. throw it all into the trampoline here. Yeah. Yeah. So your characters on the show are two very passionate humans. Like you're passionate about rowing, you're passionate about cooking, chemistry. All of these passions you have, you also share them with each other. So how does that deepen your relationship? When they meet each other and they're able to talk on this level about science in particular, and then when Elizabeth starts cooking for Calvin, then it creates this, this language. I mean, the first time that they really start to connect is over her talking about lasagna. At about 92 degrees, the solid milk fat and the cheese liquefies and the bonds holding together the casein proteins break, but the melt isn't smooth, which is why I've been experimenting with sodium citrate. So when the cheese heats... Proteins separate from each other, acting as emulsifiers. Precisely. I think a big part of that, when, when they meet and kind of discovering how Elizabeth looks at cooking is this is a great kind of metaphor and microcosm for their relationship as a whole because he sees food as just like sustenance and brain power. You have one fork. I don't entertain. And so then all of a sudden that you can apply chemistry and it can be, you, you can go into a real micro lens on it and, and kind of like, they're really nerding out on it. Elizabeth and Calvin are nerds of a feather. You cooked for me? I can't promise it'll taste as good as yours, but it was edible. This is a lovely steam bath we're getting to. It is, yeah. I'm feeling a nice, getting a nice facial Good for our skin. Yeah. Every time I cook, I, I'm reminded of my grandmother because she would, every time she cracks an egg, would take her long fingernails and scrape every little molecule of yolk out of there. She grew up really? in the Depression and with was her, like, mm -hmm. with her nail, yeah. And I do that, I carry that tradition on. With your long fingernails? Do you, have a, my, long, do you have a long fingernail? Just the pinky. <laughs> <laughs> well, and actually, lasagna reminds me of my grandma because that's what she would do. She would make it, and then like the best thing was the next day, the leftovers, reheating the leftovers. Now, we're gonna assemble. So the first layer is, is this bolognese, and then we're gonna put a layer of noodles, a really thin layer of the bechamel, a little bit of Parmesan, a little bit of the bolognese, and then every third or fourth layer, we're gonna dollop a little tiny bit of ricotta, and then we're saving the mozzarella for the very top layer, so it'll be nice and bubbly and cheesy. I'm gonna put it in the oven. 
Thank you. Get ready. <laughs> Bye, lasagna. See Bye, you lasagna. Soon. We love you. Bye. Thank you. While the lasagna is baking, I just have a few random questions. Mm -hmm. okay. um, we're going to start with one of my favorites. An asteroid is headed straight to Earth. You have about you have about one day. You got a day. Yeah. And you have one meal. Oh. What are you going to eat? Mine would be a baked potato with a lot of butter, fluffed very well. Okay. Sour cream, caviar. That's a good one. I would do my mom's apple crisp with some ice cream. This is great knowledge to have. Yeah. It's important. It's important knowledge. The yeah. most important knowledge though, and I'm sorry I have to ask this, but you know I have to. This is a hot dog a sandwich? I forget where you both stand on this. I know, which is why you gotta go first. You gotta, you gotta just do what's true for you. And I think if you have two pieces of bread with something in the middle of it, there's nothing else to call it other than a sandwich. Yes! That's what I think. <sighs> Bree, do you not agree with this? Of course I don't agree with it, Courtney. <laughs> Of course, I don't agree with it. This has been going on. It's been going on for years. It's been going on for years, people. It's been going on for years. This is the thing that we don't talk about in our relationship because this might drive us apart. I love you very much. We'll leave it at that. Okay. <laughs> love you. <laughs> the lasagna. Can you smell it? Gosh, oh. I can. Wow. Mmm. <laughs> let's get it out of the oven. I think it's done. Nothing better than smelling was in the fresh lasagna. Holy moly. Yeah. Look uh, at this. Look at the wow. bubble. It's free, free as a bird. bird. Free as a bird. Free as a bird. Thank you. Yeah. Voila. Oh my goodness. Look what we She's did. Gorgeous. Mama Mia. Mm. Mama Mia. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Well, I'm just going to go in. We're going to go. Right? <clears throat> oh my God. This is so satisfying. Mm. Who does this ever? We do. Now. Wow. Wow, Courtney. Nailed it. That is a superior lasagna. Oh, man, I We did it. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, seriously, thank you so much for coming out, taking the time to do this day. It was so much fun. I loved making lasagna with you. It was the best. Absolute best, Courtney. We couldn't have had a better sensei. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Thanks, Courtney. Yeah, my pleasure. And if you want to learn more about their characters and this lasagna, you can watch Lessons in Chemistry mm -hmm. on Apple TV+. Plus. All right, I'm gonna take this home.